Let's start with angellink for Revit structure. Angellink for Revit structure enables us to transfer Revit data to Midas Engine and deliver it back to the Revit for building information modeling. For compatibility with Revit structure, Midas Engine data is converted into a text file .json for the round trip. This function is provided as add-in module. Midas link for Revit structure supports the following workflows. The first step is to send the analytical model of Revit structures to Midas Engine. The second step is to import the JSON file of the Revit model in Midas Engine. The third step is to export the model of Engine to the JSON file. The first and last step is to import the JSON file in Revit structure as an analytical model. Using Midas link, you can import or export the model data easily. And the link for Revit can be downloaded and installed on Midas Global Support website. The address is as follows, and please refer to the followings for the locations on the map. The following table shows which structure members can be shared between Midas Engine and Revit structures and how it works in each program. The model properties such as grid, Revit informations, materials, and sections can be transferred in both directions. And most member data can also be transferred in both directions. The engine data of isolated footing and strip footing, however, cannot be imported into Revit. Also, when importing the Revit data into engine, the model is converted into the mat footing type. Revit structure provides the concept of a family format in the trust structures, but when imported into engine, it becomes individual brace members instead of the original format. Offset information does not need to be considered here because both Engine and Revit have automatic shape offset functions. Furthermore, we are planning to develop a function to export Engine's Revit information to Revit in the second half of this year. Here is an example I will demonstrate today. First, three grids exist for both directions at each level. And the model has 9 columns, 4 braces, 12 beams, 4 slabs, 2 walls, 1 foundation, and additional openings. Then let's run it. As described above, it is a model with multiple levels, grid, and various structure members. 2 levels. 3 grid and a variety of members. After installing engine link for Levit, I find and run export to engine in the add-in. A dialog box for exporting information opens as follows. Check whether there are any abnormalities in the number of the unit, export item, and export members. In the case of materials, the value set in Revit is passed to Enden as it is. In the case of the section, it is automatically matched to the database in Engine. However, it is necessary to check whether it is imported accurately, and if you find wrong information, you should manually assign it. I'm going to explain how to assign sections directly. When the DB section is selected, one can set the DB code and section dimension.
When the user section is selected, the section dimension setting is completed by matching the dimension parameters. After mapping all sections, click OK and save it as a JSON file. And load the JSON file in Engine. And you should check the number of data in the model in the import dialog box. You can check the grid and revenue information and change the member type if necessary. If there is no problem, click OK and you can figure out that the model has been imported correctly. Now let's export from Engine to Revit. The same model will be used. First, we will export engine data as JSON file. Select the information to be exported and click OK and save it as a JSON file. Then run imports from engine in engine link add-in. Since it starts with a new project, First, enter the project name and then load the save JSON file. The information dialog box opens in the same way as when importing. Check information and carry out the mappings of materials and sections. Materials are assigned automatically, but in the case of sections, you must assign them yourself. To allocate a section, you need to load the family DB for the section. I import the family DB for the L angle section from the English folder. When loading is complete, select ML angle from the family name and then select the section list. Next, I will bring H shapes family DB. Next, we will bring another section from English folder when we load AI section and cannot find the desired one. After selecting the newly loaded family name, find the desired section. then assigns the section of the imported family. If necessary, you can select and assign a different section. I import and assign the same family DB again.
Next is the column. The columns are grouped into the separate folders. In the same way, I will bring the H shape DB and allocate it. If you finish section mapping and click OK, you can figure out that the model has been imported correctly. If you do not have a section family, you can download it from the Revit homepage below. The address is as follows. and DB is provided for each country. And if you want to edit the text before importing the model into NGEN or Revit, you can use the JSON Viewer. The web version of JSON Viewer can be easily found on Google. It provides an easy to view format so that it can be edited easily. I am going to edit the name of the material. Next, I'm going to edit the name and width of the section.